Hi, let's talk about camera resolution. As you can see on that uh, big picture of the shopping center, which is which size of that picture is more or less 5,000 by 3,000 uh, pixels. And uh, in exact size of different, an exact size of different IP camera resolutions, oh sorry, in general camera resolutions, you can see marked with those uh, red frames. On the very left, you can see old analog cameras. And as you can see, they are basically tiny. So the, the highest resolution you could get in old, IP, uh, in old analog cameras, you could get uh, so-called D1, which was equal to 4 SIF which is 720 by 576 uh, pixels. <coughs> but if you look at current available uh, resolutions on the right, there are multiple times of what this was. And not every camera had D1 resolution at the time. A lot of them uh, were using SIF and you had also VGA. Uh, VGA is the old uh, monitor resolution. If you remember those those cables, uh, most of those DVRs and VRs I'm showing, they have still have VGA a cable, uh, a possibility of connecting that VGA cable. But as you can see from that picture, uh, resolution which you can get from VGA cable is just useless, completely useless in, uh, when, you, when you talk about uh, contemporary uh, CCTV because HD screen will have this resolution 1920 by 1080 pixels and uh, that's basically uh, what we are dealing with so when you picking your <coughs> uh, camera it doesn't matter if it's HD or IP because both HD and IP can have this type of resolutions. But you have to understand what you really are, what are you getting and what you really need. So uh, obviously we still can find on some old installations those old cameras. So they, they are being replaced as we go and uh, you, can, you can see the difference in the picture. Many times I do, when I went to the customer and I did, she asked, why, why my pictures, when we already installed some new HD cameras there, he would ask, oh, this camera, this camera is, is blur, blurred on the, on the monitor. And then when we look at the camera, it was old analog camera. So there's no way it could, you could blow picture from, let's say, D1 camera to, to HD screen. Obviously, it was getting blurred. So for in such a case, it's the only way to, <coughs> to, to help customers to replace the camera, to install new camera. But when you're installing new cameras, <coughs> when you're deciding what resolution do you need, uh, in most cases, uh, this resolution, uh, 2 megapixels, it's, it's good enough for, for a lot of, uh, in, uh, for in, 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 it's good enough for a lot of, uh, users and uh, but what happens like if you look at this huge picture yeah and we have this huge shopping center and when you start using a uh, high resolution uh, cameras the although the camera may be a little bit more expensive you will be getting much better uh, resolution uh, of the picture what will give you ability to zoom in digitally into the picture so you are recording let's say 5 megapixel and you have basically everything obviously you will you would point this camera differently probably lower it's, it's not exactly uh, I just mark those frames so you can see the difference but obviously you would uh, frame the picture differently because there's no need to to look at the roof <coughs> but you will be interested in in, in more details uh, uh, on the ground so what happens is you, when you have this 
type this size of the picture with this resolution, you can then zoom in on much smaller parts of the picture and see exactly the face of the person without losing, losing any quality. And that's, that's the advantage of using high resolution uh, cameras. You can you do the digital zoom in, you take the part of the picture uh, and read from that picture whatever you need to read. Obviously, uh, this picture, as we have it now, that doesn't have enough depth of uh, <coughs> field of... Um, you see, the focus is only on, the, on, the, on, on this level. Then we go farther, there's no focus. But if you have a camera with the enough, enough depth of field, uh, you will get uh, a lot of... Um, uh, you will be able to zoom in on, on different uh, objects or people afterwards. But it's all again depends on, on what, you, what you choose. So is it worth to install high resolution megapixels camera? Of course it is, assuming that you need it. In a lot of uh, in, in a lot of uh, situations you don't you don't need you may not need it because you're just covering small narrow area and uh, you, you are close enough or you know depending uh, on the on your situation but a lot of a lot of times you you won't need it but if if you have a, a situation then when you with one camera you can cover see like if you would use a hd full hd camera that's the full hd camera you would need at least two of them to cover that area <laughs> or even more uh, if you want to go down here so that's the uh, you, you can have one camera covering much bigger area the, but there's few few um, elements which you have to know or remember about first obviously those, this camera will be a little more expensive but a lot of times uh, price of the one uh, higher resol resolution camera won't be that much bigger or will be less than two or three cameras of let's say full HD another thing which you have to remember <coughs> that you must have a DVR or NVR which can handle that camera you have to look at the uh, parameters of your DVR and NVR if it can handle so a lot of times you're working with already existing uh, installation. So you have to check your DVR settings, check the type version of the DVR and VR, and uh, probably call taking a support from the producer of that, or if possible, check it online. But a lot of times it's, it's difficult. So you have to call the supplier and see if this version can handle this size of camera this resolution then obviously if you're increasing resolution you you if it's a um, dvr uh, but dvr or nvr uh, you have to look at your hard drives do you have enough of them then if it's nvr do you have to check if your connection is uh, strong enough um, in most cases it will be because as you notice in one of the lessons uh, most of the high resolution even 4k uh, ip camera could be handled by the uh, regular cat 5 cable most times sometimes it could be a problem could be problems there but just looking at the numbers it should handle easily so there are those different aspects uh, then you may be streaming that camera somewhere. Maybe the DVR is being streamed to monitoring stations, so you have to make sure that uh, they can handle that, that size of camera. Their software can handle that. So there are, um, there are multiple aspects that we have to check. But in general, uh, it's, it's really good uh, to, to, to be able to, to replace the old camera in t for some much, much better resolution camera. A lot of installations will go with full HD. Very few will use just uh, one megapixel. 
but then a lot of some of the installations will use uh, 5 megapixel or even 8 megapixel. I, I hope that helps. Thank you.